about this intro. Let's enjoy it together on the ball. changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. Hello, what? You got what you were after, so pay up. What's going You're on? crying in the rain, Pally. What? I'm all tied up. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Well, who, are, who are you guys? Time to cash What's going out. Will you get it over with? Get what over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a Wait. fake. Dig? You're gonna kill me? What did I do? What's go? Oh. You've made your last delivery, kid. I was supposed to take that to the store. Sorry, you got twisted up in this scene. Don't, no, no, no. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 carat on, run of bad luck. Don't do this. Don't, don't, no, no. Truth is, no. No. The game was rigged from the start. Oh, God. Whoa, easy there, easy. Oh, 
You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? My name is uh, Spossel. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I nice hope you don't you. mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Well, this is I awesome. most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. I mean, you were okay. way off. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Just Let's stick with the uh, get you brain surgery and not the uh, plastic surgery there, Doc. Whoa. Good. Oh, gosh. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Yeah, maybe. Over by that big test machine there. Stick with the brain surgery. Take it losing. slow now. It ain't a race. Ooh, looking good so far. Thanks. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. Sure. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. I am special. Right, that's me. With luck like yours, I'm surprised them bullets didn't just turn right around and climb back into the gun. Well, we know well, the you know. Are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a big horn and drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? Okay, it's gonna take long, Doc. So I don't think there's any dogs left on the planet. What are we talking about barking dogs for, Doc? All right. Oh yeah, there is dogs, robot dogs. I'm gonna stupid. say a word. I want you to say the first that thing that comes to mind. Dog. Uh, newspaper. House. Uh, target. Night. Uh, dreams. Bandit. Uh, stab. Light. D flash. Mother. Uh, cookie jars. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. No, not necessarily. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Uh, yeah, not really. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. <laughs> Have you seen my social media? I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Uh, psh, uh no opinion. I charge in to deal with my charge. problems head on. Not really. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Uh, <laughs> it looks like the hand. Okay. How about this one? It's like a ray gun. Yeah, space age technology. Last one. Mm, that looks like two dudes giving each other a high five, but since that's not a choice, we're going with a mushroom cloud. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Hmm. Uh, yeah, space guns. Um, boomy boomies, not really. Not this early. Sneaky sneakies. And talkie talkies. Oh. Did they have talkies in the apocalypse, Doc? Hungry now. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. Oh, just gonna get my question. Got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Gosh. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Actually. <laughs> All right. Be, uh, I think uh, not okay, now, doc. Come with me. I'll see you out. Where are we going? Oh, out of the house. I thought. So hold on. You're not um, boarding me for a while. I don't get to. Stay in this um, this house safe away from everybody. Doc, are you listening to me? I mean, look at how many rooms you have in your home. Are you sure? You don't have room to spare. I won't. I won't. Um, I won't even use your toilet. I'll just go out in the backyard. Can I have some food? Doc, don't mind. <laughs> don't mind me. There's nothing of importance. Um. 
oven, uh, it was just broken when I got here, I swear. Um, wow, it really looks like you need to go shopping, Doc. Um, yeah, so that was a pretty cool room in your house there. The, do you think I can have this bedroom, Doc? He's not even listening to me anymore. Guy saves my life free of charge. <laughs> now I rip him off. Ah, Spossel. You are just a wild card, aren't you? Alright. Doc, well, yeah, I'm not done jacking for this one. Yeah, I need that medics. Um, I know I can't repair this yet, right? Yeah. Wait. Oh, okay. Woo! Sure, there's anything else I'm going to do Yes, thank you, Chief Liz. That's when um, the most important thing is the Stimpak, Radix. Maybe I've had another Stimpak. I'm sure he won't mind. Hey, Doc. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. Here, these are yours. Oh, what? Was oh, all you clothes? had on you when you was brought in. Oh. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. Bobby I thought Harris. it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Yep. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. Oh, thank they you. call it a Pip Boy. Mm. I grew up in one of them vaults and made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put mm. this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. What? Never was much my style anyway. Well. I really appreciate it, Doc. Thanks for patching I me. don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Thanks, Doc. Um, I'm gonna put some clothes on in here before I go outside. Is that okay, Doc? For this second. So. Thanks, Doc. Have a good week. I'm gonna turn your lights out for you so you save energy. On your... Do you guys have? Do you have energy pills, Doc? That one doesn't work. They said we need to go talk to Sunny. Hi, everybody. Morning. Good morning. Oh. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, Doc Mitchell, he said you could teach me to survive out here in the mobby. Yeah. I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. All right, thank you. Let's go. Whoa, what in the big corner? How's it going today? Strong silent type, eh? What are you looking at me for now? Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Yeah. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah. Pull it out like this. Alright. Whoa. Whoa, whoa! That's the right idea. Look whoa, down whoa. the site. Excuse me. Try crouching down and staying still. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight <laughs> sarsaparilla bottles. <laughs> this Tell you what. Here. 
I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Mm, yeah, sounds good. I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Bye-bye, lady. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. S sounds good. Did See? It. You're getting the hang of it. Mm -hmm. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Uh, yeah, sure. Sounds like fun. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. takes care of that. Holy moly. You okay? If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. Oof. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Are you sure? Oh, gosh. Well, thank you. We didn't need to do that. You okay, though? Do you need some bandages? Give me a gun. I have a, I have a cabinet. In the village of Good Springs. I guess we're going to ignore me. Okay. That's fine. What do you think, Sonny? Are we okay? Saw all the stuff to that chump. What do you think? Now that was some good work. Cool. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. Ooh. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Uh, nah, I don't think so. I've got it covered from here. Okay, say no more. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. <laughs> Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do mm. me a favor. Poor Papa. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. All right. Well, thanks, Sonny. Bye, Cheyenne. It's a good puppy. See you later. Such a lovely town. It's a little bit uh, dusty out though. I do have to say, this little dust devil is black. What the? Hello? Satan? Scared him away. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, uh, how's it going today? Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Oh, uh, I don't know. Do you know anything about the people who shot me in the head and left me for dead in the graveyard? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Okay. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Yeah. Fair. Fair. He shot me in the face. Uh, why, why are you called Easy Pete? 
was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Hmm. So you were a prospector? So, like, in the mines, gold and silver, or...? Nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never liked the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Did you everything, uh, find anything good while prospecting? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. But got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. What's wrong with the, the NCR? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them, whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Can you tell me about the Legion? They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam. But the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Well, you know, easy P, I need to get Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Huh? I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? What the hell are you? What? That guy was rude. Hey, um, Sunny Sunny. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Uh, I overheard that argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Uh, why not just kill Cobb and be done with him? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. What are you gonna do about it? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. Was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Um, yeah, let's talk about something else. All right. What happens if I help him? Go? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Mm. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Mm. Like how many friends? Um, so who was the man you were arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Hmm. I'm trying to track down the uh, people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. 
Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. All right, Trudy, I think I need to get going. Be careful out there. Hello. Hi. Check. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps, if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Oh, uh, by the way, do you know anything about the people who attacked him? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. All right, Chad, thanks. I need to get going. Take it easy now. That's close hey, whoa, enough. Whoa, whoa. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Uh, I'm not an enemy, if, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Uh, hmm, did you know there's a man named Jacob Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. What are you gonna do about the Powder Gangers? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help. We'd just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Uh, I'll ask around and see who I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Uh, I'm gonna help Ringo take on the Powder Gangers, so I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. And Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Hmm. Um, any ideas on how to convince Trudy to join us? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Would Chet be willing to give us his supplies? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. How can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? 
Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before he handed it over. All right, well, um, Sonny, I'm gonna go talk to everybody, so I need to get going. I'll be waiting. Hey. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. How'd it's a big know? risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. You should help uh, me take down the powder gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. All right, Trudy, I need to get going. Be careful out there. Hey, easy Pete. Howdy. Hey, I hear you got dynamite. Uh, it would help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Uh, how hard can it be? Just light them and throw. Too dangerous. Sorry. Blow yourself up. Blow your neighbor up. Blow the whole town up. <sighs> All right. I guess so. Easy P. I I need to get going. Yep. Hello. Hi. Hey, yo, Chet. You looking to buy some supplies? Nah, really. I just, uh, I need some supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Um, yeah, and let them take over the town then. I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. No worries at all. Um, don't worry. I will be a valued customer, too, so you'll earn that back at least ten golden caps. So, be safe, Chet. I need to go. Take it easy now. All right, Chet, take it easy. Be safe. Back to that old coot. I think I have a better way of convincing him. Hey. Hi. Hey, yo, Pete. Pete, I just thought of something. Howdy. Um, yeah, let's check out that dynamite. Told you before, it's too dangerous for a bunch of amateurs to handle. Well, I'm familiar with the care and handling of explosives, dynamite included. Uh huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. I need to get going. Yep. Hey. Hi. <laughs> that was way too easy. Just had to say it a different way. Silly old guy. Hey, Doc, <laughs> you didn't turn any lights back on. You like the darkness? Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Uh, well, the town's gonna be attacked by bandits, so anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. Thanks, Doc. Uh, I need to get going. I'm gonna go make sure we're all safe. Stay here. Be safe. You take care now. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Uh, yeah, Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. 
Mm, uh, no, let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. I'm ready. You better be too. Oh, Easy P came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. You're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. Will do. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. Uh, yeah, I hope so too. Hey, uh, let's do a little bit of trading here. I got some stuff for you. Can do. Pleasure doing business with you. I gotta get going. I'll see you later. Take it easy now. Hmm, that looks tense. Let's leave them alone. Oh. All right. Well, you know, I'm a little tired, so... i to find a place we can sleep. Let's see what's down here. Oh, hey, look, it's a robot. Hey there. Howdy, partner. How's it going? Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. How did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. It's all what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Do you know who those men were who attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. How did you end up in Gets Rings? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. 
You know, I've never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. It says H and H tools. Alright, I need to get going, Victor. Happy trails! You too. Uh, I'm gonna go in your house. Oh, I bet I can't go to bed. Alright. I'm really tired after all that, so we're gonna sleep. Like 13 hours and wake up in the middle of the morning. Good night. Mm-hmm.